All right, I'm going to say, show you how to make a really simple ghost in Adobe After Effects. First, you're going to import your files, which I'm not sure which one it is. I believe it's these two. Done. Should. Open. It's importing. Now is when I hit done. Let's make sure I can figure out which one of these are. So the one that's labeled walk will be the person walking. Let's name this one base because that's our base video. So that goes, no, let's do the walk video first. All right, so now it created our composition. And I want to find where I start coming into the picture, which is like right here. All right, so there's me. Now I'm going to import the base footage that goes underneath. Now because of the walk cycle, I'm going to want to move it to like here. The walk cycle isn't long, so I can kill the footage right about here. Let's get rid of this one. This one's a bad one. It's too short. Uh, let's go ahead and import another file. But this one's the longest one. Thirty-five seconds. The walk cycle is about as long. Let's go ahead and rename this one base. Insert that. Now we've got one about as long as we need. So now I'm going to go ahead and select the walk cycle. I want to trim it down so it starts about there. Edit, split layer. I'm going to delete this one. And then I want to trim this one up a little bit, like right here. So edit, split layer, delete. Now, so we can make this a lot easier when we start keyframing. Set the time, trim comp to work area, and then there we go. So now, should, the ghost should start appearing like right about here. And I want it to come in about right here. So now, I'm going to make sure I'm on the walk cycle. I'm going to get the pen tool. I'm just going to make a really rough, simple outline that this can follow. I want it to be kind of large so that way when I keyframe you can see it all the way through. Now it will disappear because now we have to keyframe it. Alright, so now I'm going to open this layer, open mask, open the other mask. Let's go ahead and keyframe the map. Yeah. I think it's right about there. Let's go to where we want it to finish. A 
I'll put the mask right about here. So now, let's turn this to add. So now the person stays right about there. So now we've got that mask there. It follows the little ghost image we want, and everything lines up. And then I want it to disappear right about there. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go back through, add some feathering to it. 24 should be good. Even now it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go over to opacity. I'm gonna go down to about 62. Now if I click away from here, it pretty much disappears right about there. Now if we go to the beginning, which I'm going to trim up to where it was, because, you know. So now if I start from here, play it through, should come into the frame there. Keeps going, 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 going. You get the point. And it disappears. Now, if you want to get in further, you can go to like 50% on the opacity. And you can make it really hard to see. So I'm going to go to like 55. Let's go back to like 60. That looks pretty good. Congratulations, now you export and you are done.